Hey guys, what's up? It's Daji Ma, and I'm here with a spring haul because I'm going to Miami this week um, for vacation. Um, so yeah, I just want to show you thank guys. I just want to show you guys the things that I got um, for my trip. I'm going for five days, Tuesday through Saturday, Tuesday through Sunday. Um, so yeah, I just got a few things like over the course of time. I did not buy all this stuff all at once because I'm not balling like that. I am in college. So I had to spread out, you know, my shopping trips. So I'm done shopping as far as, you know, buying stuff for the trip. Um, and yeah, a lot of the stuff, um, I didn't buy too many things because a lot of the stuff that I can wear there I already have. Like dresses and shoes and stuff that I had, didn't even wear when it was warm outside so I can break them in while I'm down there. But yeah, let's just get started on what I got. So the first place I went to, Ever 21. Every young adult's favorite store to shop at, regardless they admit it or not. Um, so let me see. I went there once, like two weeks ago, and then I went again yesterday. So yeah, what this? Oh, these are things I got the first time. The first time, um, I got these sand. I got these sandals. Which I think are so cute, and I and like I'm like I've been I've been like looking a lot for sandals because the sandals I had last like summer and spring are pretty much done for. So I got these ones. They're these gold sandals with this little. Um, they're these black sandals with this little gold thing here, which I think are absolutely adorable. Got these, and these were only um, fifteen ninety. And a lot of the times, like when I go to Forever 21, I find some cute sandals. They'll be like $22, and I'm like, I don't want to pay that. So I always pick up the ones that are like $12 and like $15, because those are the ones I like. Or if they are something that I like and I can buy them, they don't ever have my size. So I was surprised, like the both times I went to Forever 21, that they had shoes that I like that were in my size. That's really what the main problem is. But I got these to Forever 21. It's just this long um, dress, gray dress, and this is in a size small, and it was nine ninety. So it's long and fit. I really like long dresses that are like fitted. I'm not really into the super short dresses, unless they're like flowy. But if it's like tight and short like this, I won't buy it because I don't like those type of dresses. So that's all I got from Forever Twenty One from the first time. It's an Eric Hostel actually. And got these sandals. These, um, these I forgot. I think these are like twelve dollars. But guys, when I tell you I've been sleeping on Aeropostale, I have because I haven't went to Aeropostale since I was probably like middle school, because that's when it was like popping, and I haven't been wearing it since then. But now they like they don't even put the logo like the Aeropostale. All this is on the inside of their clothes. Like you know how before everything Aero or Aeropostale was on everything. And I was like, I'm too old to be wearing all that. I'm not about to wear that. But then I just happened to go in there because they had 70% off. I was like, let me see. I haven't been to Aeropostale in years, like literally. So let me see what they have. And they had some really cute stuff. Like nothing has Aeropostale. It was like a couple of hoodies that had like arrow on it. But all the Aeropostale like logo is on the inside of the um, clothing. So if you don't want nobody to know you're shopping at Aeropostale, you can go ahead because it's not the logo isn't on the outside. But I don't care because some of the stuff was cute and it was super like affordable. Like I haven't been in there since I was in middle school. But and these were much needed any anyway, regardless if it's air pasta or not. So I got these sandals. Then I was forever twenty one again yesterday. And I got a lot of stuff. So what I've been really on the hunt for is bathing suits that are not like hurting my pockets. Because a lot of bathing suits are like like pieces they are sold separately and then the top is always like 17 20 something dollars and the bottom is like 20 dollars like why can't they just be priced together like don't nobody got time to be spending all that on a bathing suit but i just happened to go and there were hella cute bathing suits in the sales rack so i stocked up on them so let me show you what i got from there um, oh yeah, so like I said, this stuff was on sale, so I don't know if you'll be able to find it if you go to Perfect 21, because they were all in the sale rack, it wasn't in the regular, but this is like a top, a strapless top you could put on like this, and then it just has these little clips on in the back, and this was, this top was $1.99, and I wear a size large, 
It also has the strap to go with it, which I will be wearing because I absolutely hate strapless bathing suit tops because I don't want to be pulling it up the whole time. Like, that's unnecessary. So, I will be wearing a strap with this top, definitely. I also got another one, another pink uh, top like that. This has the strings, and this was $3.99. And in the back, it's like super strappy, like this. So this is like super cute. I really like this color. And then I got another top. This is the same as the blue one. Just in this like periwinkle color. This was $1.99. Also in the large. And it also has the strings which I will be wearing. This top. This is what it looks like. And it was $3.99. And this is in a medium. Okay, so I got that. And then I also got some other bottoms. Which is super cute. Just regular. This was $1.99. And then I got these last pair of bottoms. And then they were... This is what they look like. They have like this little strappy piece on the side, which I didn't even notice because I was in such a rush to get them. But I like them. I'm happy they have it. I just didn't notice when I picked them up. And then these were $3.99. And then lastly, I absolutely fell in love with these when I found them and I had to buy them. There was no way I was leaving the store without buying these. These sandals. And also, I'm also looking for sandals that are like slip on instead of you have to strap in the back because I have long nails. And I plan on cutting them, and it's always super hard to strap up my uh, sandals whenever I wear sandals because my nails are too long. So these are perfect, and they're just, and I've been in love with like the blush pink color lately. I don't know why. I just been like to buy a lot of blush things. So that's what these look like. They're so cute, and they these might not be comfortable, but I don't care because they're cute. I went to H and M, and I got this pink bottom. Oh, it's inside out. Or is it? Oh, well. And it ties on the side so I can tighten it however I need it to. And this was only $3. It was originally $12.95. Um, oh, and it was before it was $3. It was probably like $7. Hold on, it's another tag over it. It was $5. And I got it for $3. Ooh. I wonder why, like, all these stores are already having sales for bathing suits. Because it's only March. Like, and that's like the beginning of March. So how are they already selling... Putting this stuff on sale. No idea. But I got that. As you can see, I like a lot of super, super bright colors. Because I feel like when I start to tan when I'm out there, like, those colors are going to look really nice. Then I got another top. And this was $10. And it was originally $24.95. Um, um, I guess when somebody tried it on, they put the strings on because it has the little bag where the um, that goes into it. So this is what this looks like. Then it just zips in the back, um, which I absolutely love. This is probably going to be my favorite piece to wear because I really love yellow on me because I'm dark and I like the color yellow. And I was really on a hunt for a yellow bathing suit, but they were all super expensive. So I was like, I guess I'm going to be wearing a yellow bathing suit. Then I came across this and I love it. And this was $5. It was originally $12.95. I would probably pay the $12 either way because I really wanted a yellow bathing suit. And then lastly, I got these bottoms. These zebra pit bottoms. Um, it's kind of like small in the back area, so I'll definitely be wearing a cover-up. <laughs> Culture. I like really didn't know that they had an actual store for this. It's about to get shut down anyway here in Atlanta. And everything was buy one, get one free. So I got these two, I got, we got two things from here and I got them both for $14. First thing I got, I'm not sure if it is a cover up, but I'm going to use it as one. It's like this black see through and I'm so, like I wish it was white because I really wanted a white cover up, but this will do. Because it was only, well it was $19, but I guess I got this for free. I don't know how it worked out. But um, this is what this looks like. It has like this little, I guess, whatever in the back. And I got this in a medium. I wish they kind of had it in a large because I wanted my cover-up to be like loose on me. But I think this will be big enough. Skirts. 
it's like an asymmetrical skirt so it ties on the side of like my thigh and then it looks like this and then the last place I went shopping was this place called Sunglass Spot. I was so destined to find sunglasses that were cheap. Because most places you go, sunglasses are going to be like $20. And I wanted a different pair of sunglasses every single day. So I wasn't about to spend $100 on sunglasses. Because it's unnecessary money. Why would I spend $100 on sunglasses? And I didn't want to wear the same pair every single day. So I came across this place called Sunglass Spot. And I actually got six pair, even though I'm going to be there five days, but oh well. So white pair, and they have, and each pair of sunglasses comes with like a different lens. So I got the purple like lens for this, if you can tell. show up this glasses that's what I do for the glasses if you're interested they're only five dollars each I almost bought more but I was like let me just slow my roll and save some money because I don't need millions of pairs of glasses to see how I pair them and none of them match because I like the I like when um I like the color black like I don't like when bathing suits are too matchy matchy like I don't buy bathing suit pieces together like you know how they'll have a bathing suit piece but they're sold separately in different prices I don't ever get them the the piece that matches with it. I like when they don't match. So to see how I um, match these, you should go check out my YouTube channel. I mean my website, which will be in the description box below. By the time this video up, I already have the first look. I'll upload every single day each bathing suit I wear with each pair of sunglasses. So you can see the complete look and how I style everything. So that will be on my website. Check out that in the description box below. And bye. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.